Hi friends, this reflection is for the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Now, let's talk about this. Let's unpack it for a moment. What we see here is that there's a theme of hope. The hope in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And especially as ordinary time begins to wind down and we transition into a new liturgical year, we learn that hope is longed for in our society. And it's no different during the time of when Jesus was around and, of course, the readings that were selected for this coming for this Sunday. Because let's face it, we're surrounded by a lot of despair. We're living in a culture that is filled with despair. Despair on the high prices, the number one cause of death in abortion, the fact that marriage is under attack, secularism, the nuns, atheism is on the rise. And we also have those that believe that all is lost. The good news is it's not. Today we are faced with so many challenges, friends. But guess what? Recently, you have celebrated the Feast of All Saints. What separates non-believers to these men and women who become, that have received the highest honor in the Catholic Church? They have, they place their trust and their hope in Jesus because of a steadfast faith. Likewise, we should be doing the same thing. Now, as we look at the readings for today's liturgy, they point to the resurrection. In the end, we, have, we are encouraged to believe and live in that hope. When we look at the, the first reading with Maccabees, we hear about the Sadducees, in which Israel is conquered by Greek. And we see that the Greeks, let's face it, whenever they conquer the land, and it's no different to the Romans, they want the conquered people to assimilate to their culture. Very little there were people that resisted. Take into account the fact that there were seven brothers togetherly refused to adapt to the practices. As a result of their faith, they were killed in front of their mother. Two of the brothers confidently speak of the hope their faith provides. Likewise, when we, when we have faith in God, we place our hope in the coming of Jesus. Each one's son, as we look at the reading, endured suffering and death with the great confidence that the Lord will raise him up. In the end, these seven brothers became the witnesses of hope. Hope in a future resurrection and life. They knew that when they placed their faith in Jesus, they would be with God. Let us fast forward to the, the, le to the second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians. Everlasting encouragement and good hope that comes from Jesus and God our Father. He does this so that we may remain, we may receive that encouragement in our hearts and strengthen us in every good deed and word. Encourage, the encouragement that comes from God bolsters our hope so that we can be confident of deliverance and victory. Friends, in our culture and society, hope is challenged. And there are so many forces that are keeping us from placing our hope in Jesus. Society seeks to rob us. But if we 
place our trust and hope in God, nothing will stop us. We must live a life of hope, of, of love and hope, as St. Paul reminds us. The seven sons in the first book of in the, the first reading reminds us that they are shows us that we should be witnesses to hope. And that hope is rooted in faith in the future resurrection. So how do we do it, my friends? Receive the word of God. When we receive it, we are filled with hope. And when we play, when we were filled with that hope, we have the confidence that we will rise from the dead and share in the fullness of life. Friends, you are called to be witnesses of hope. You are called to have hope in the second coming of Jesus. You are called to have the same hope that you will receive the rewards of heaven. Let us strive for that today, friends. Let us not grow weary in our faith journey. Let us place our confidence in God. God bless.